senior year of high school was one of the most influential years of my life. I had been growing religiously and had the unforgettable privilege of learning the Seches Kiddushin under the great Rav David Willig. I remember on the first day of school, senior year of high school, Rav Willig opened up to Daf Beis, the first page of Meseches Kedushin, and he looked at us straight in the eyes. And he said, today we're going to learn the famous Rambam connected to this page of Gemara. One day, when you all get older, you're going to be learning big yeshivos. They're going to ask you, did you ever learn Meseches Kedushin? Did you learn Daf Beis? Did you cover the big Rambam, the famous Rambam? And then Rav Willig would proceed to teach us the famous Rambam. When we got to Daf Gimel, again, Rav Willig would tell us, today we're going to learn the famous Tosos on Daf Gimel of Meseches Kedushin. When you get older and you're going to talk to big Rabbanim, they're going to ask you, did you learn Daf Gimel of Meseches Kedushin? Did you cover the famous Tosos? And then he would proceed to teach us the famous Tosfos. Each and every day, it felt as if we were learning something famous, something worth knowing. Now, when we as teachers prepare our own lessons, what are the first things that come to our minds? We think about the demands of the curriculum, the demands of the administration, the demands of the parents. We question how will we deliver the material? These are all very important, crucial aspects of education. However, do we take the time to stop and remind ourselves that we're teaching Torah, the most important thing in the world? Now, this is a common issue because it's not easy to wake up day in and day out and be excited about each and every Torah lesson. We often think, today I'm learning this Pasuk. When I get to that Pasuk down the road, that will be exciting. Today I'm learning this daf of Gemara. When I get to that next daf of Gemara, that will be exciting. Uh, when we get to the next parak, that's going to be the good stuff. Today we're dealing with the nitty gritty, the not so exciting part of Torah. To combat this issue, I would like to share one comment of the Chafetz Chaim. David HaMelech in Tehillim writes, Torah's Hashem Tamima. The Torah of Hashem is perfect. Mishivas nafesh, it restores our souls. Edus Hashem ne'emana, the Torah is the testimony of Hashem and is trustworthy. Machkimas pesi, and the Torah makes the simple person wise. The Chavitz Chaim asks a very basic question on the language of this Pasuk. The Pasuk stated that the Torah, Hashem, the Torah of Hashem is perfect. If the Torah is perfect, why does the Pasuk need to elaborate and explain? that it's mishivas nafesh, it restores our souls, that it is trustworthy, that it makes the simple man more knowledgeable. If it's perfect, we already know those things. The Chafetz Chaim answers this question with a beautiful mashal. The Chafetz Chaim says, let's say you would take a chair and break it into pieces. Each individual part of that broken chair has no inherent value. If you would pick up a broken chair leg, that leg has no significance to you. Only as a whole, complete chair was their value. In contrast, if you would have a nice, big, beautiful diamond and break it into many little pieces, each individual <coughs> piece of that diamond has significant worth. So too, the Torah has worth as a whole and it also has inherent value in each component. So therefore the Pasuk says, Torah Hashem Temima, the Torah is perfect in its entirety, and in addition, it also has inherent value in each individual component. Therefore, it also is Mishivas Nafesh, restores our souls, it is trustworthy, it makes the simple man wise. Each part of Torah, says the Chavetz Chaim, should, com should be compared to a diamond. Every piece of Torah and every word of Torah is a diamond. If we as Torah educators woke up each and every morning with the mentality and the perspective that we were giving diamonds to our students, that would be a good lesson. There is no such thing as a boring Torah lesson if we're giving over diamonds to our students. Nobody questions the value of a diamond. 
As Torah educators, we need to remind ourselves that we're doing the most important thing in the world. We're giving over the Torah, the lifeblood of our people, to the next generation of Am Yisrael. And the unfortunate reality is, if we as teachers do not show our own excitement, if we do not treat the Torah as diamonds, our students will not. We need to remind ourselves that the Torah is like a diamond. And each and every day we have the unbelievable, unforgettable privilege of giving over diamonds to the next generation of Kaisa. Thank you so much.